was a in, a very interesting report from GB News this week that showed, I think it was now that if you were a young white ma male, you are twice, sorry, if you're a male of ethnic BAME, you know, whatever the acronym yeah. is, minority, you are twice as likely to get a job than a young white British boy. Uh, that is relatively disturbing given the fact that white men make up a vast majority of this country. And so we see this narrative, this, inst this actually institutional racism in reverse, right? It's all these things the left claim to be. So again, you're going to get people like them infiltrating our reporting and our agencies. There we go. Uh, and they're the ones who are meant to be telling the news. And of course, if it's, if it's flooded with people from ethnic backgrounds who don't like this narrative, by the way, well, we're not going to hear anything about it, are we? Yeah, because that, that, that Telegraph article there, that barely got any coverage either. White men have at least uh, the least chance of getting on the BBC trainee scheme of being the next generation of BBC journalists, pre presenters, whatever else. It could even just be, you know, someone working behind the scenes. Applicants coming from black, Asian and minority ethnic backgrounds were two and a half times more likely to be accepted for the training. So I think that's that's a, a good point, Alex, and uh, the right one. Yeah. And I think it's so wrong and it just sows seeds of division, right? It, it, it actually, yeah. it's, it's like they're actively trying to make people want to, to have some form of hatred in their heart. Uh, and and it's racism. You, you, That's what it is. It's, yeah. it's, it's racism. And, you know, look, my, my stepdad's also from Iran. He came over to this country. He came here because it was Britain. And I was talking to him. I was back home this weekend. I was talking to him about what's happening to the country. And he's horrified. He said, there are too many people. There's too many people. I, he said, I came to Britain because I wanted to be part of British society, British culture, work hard, have a family and integrate. And he said, what he's noticing is that there are people coming here who are not doing that. He has mm. had a, as many opportunities as everyone else. And he didn't speak the language when he first came to Britain. He learned, he said, ev learned everything, did everything he could to integrate as quickly as possible. But he's saying there are people coming here who don't want that, who hate the country, who hate the West, who hate everything we stand for and will happily watch it be destroyed. And those people, unfortunately, now are infiltrating our institutions. Why can't we have a meritocracy? What is wrong with yeah, yeah. people getting a job or getting into any sort of organization based on their ability? You can't fight that. You can't argue with it. And there's a brilliant documentary just it came out not too long ago by Martin Durkin uh, and it's on YouTube. You can seek it out. And, and Martin talks about the climate change issue and he actually argues that the, the money and the, the policy making actually encourages people not to be meritocratic, but actually to be as far fetched on the climate science as you possibly can in order to bring about fear and actually get the funding that way. So the, the whole thing, like the, this whole, the, whether it be the climate, whether it be DEI, diversity, equity and inclusion, all of these things through taxpayer funded institutions are having perverse consequences on the British population. Uh, well, at the Western world, actually. And Arena says they're trying to divide the nation because a divided nation is an unstable and weak nation. I think that's yeah. absolutely correct. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.